Guys, in the last video, I did a little unboxing and a review on this, and it kind of sucked a little bit for crawling. Oh no! <laughs> what happened? But you guys said, Kev, it's not supposed to be for crawling, it's for running in snow. So in this video, that's what we're going to do. Then also, we've got a brand new toy to unbox. Have a little look at it and see how the two compare. And later on, I'm going to give you an update. What's going on with the Project 203 mile an hour RC car? We've got some good news coming up with that. Do you want to get rich quick? Then buy a lottery ticket and hope for the best. If you want to get rich for sure, you have to provide either a product or service of value. I've spent the past 10 years of my life trying many different ways of making money online. And by far, the quick the quickest and easiest way that I have found is by selling on eBay. And I've helped hundreds of people make thousands of dollars every single month. So if you want more money so you can buy more toys, buy a nice house, or quit that dreaded nine till five, then click the link down below and I'll show you how. A lot of you guys said that you liked seeing a few of these cheaper RC car reviews. Now the main focus of this channel is on the more higher end RC cars, but every now and then we have a little look at a cheapo. So this thing's got hard body, two solid axles, four wheel drive, four link suspension, coilover shocks, but there's no oil in there, lock diffs, and although it does look kinda toy grady, it's got a proper servo there. So you get everything you need to run it. So you get the car, radio, batteries, charger, instructions. But you do need to supply a couple of AA batteries for the controller. And to charge up the car, you plug that into there and that into there. So in the snow, it actually did pretty good. Now at the end there, one of these tracks did fall off again. They do come off really easily, but someone left a note in my comments how they fixed their one. So this dude here put some fishing line around it. It's supposed to tighten it up. So we might give that a little go in a future video. So next, this one here all charged up. So let's take it for a whip. I don't know guys, I mean it is fairly cheap, but I think for your money, you probably get something a lot better. So this one here, although it's a lot smaller, is a much nicer crawler. And if you don't mind spending a tiny little bit more, then there's this one here, which is my all time favorite mini crawler. I'm gonna put a link down below to all of these cars and to their videos, so you can go and see those reviews there. Now if you want something more this size, then I would recommend you go for more something like this, which is a little bit more expensive, but it's a lot higher quality. Or of course, you can go for the WPL, which is, I think is actually a little bit cheaper. So the two main problems with this one, first of all, it seems to be geared a little bit too high. It's too fast, but it hasn't got enough torque for when you're crawling. We're gonna try it out in a minute. And also, when you steer, it happened quite a few times off camera, and initially, 
I thought it was the drive shafts binding up in there, but what happened was that the wheels would lock up and the whole car would just jam up solid. But I think what's actually happening is that the wheel is touching the bumper there. So we're going to cut this out, then we're going to give it another one. Sorry guys, can't talk properly, got braces. So in about a year's time, I'm going to look like that. Whee! Beautiful. Most crawlers can get up hill climbs steeper than 45 degrees. So let's see what this one can do. I doubt it. Right, here we go. Ah, not quite. Next, we have to rock crawl. I'm actually surprised it's getting over it, guys. Oh, hey, we did it. So full speed. That's fairly fast for a crawler. Turning circles, not the best. But it just seems geared a little bit too high. I mean, if it was geared lower, we'd have a little bit more torque and it'd make it more controllable on the crawl. See, what we've got to do here, look. It's not crawling. We've got to give it, like, loads more power. And suddenly, it shoots off. Just like that. By cutting this off, it's definitely made it a lot better. But still, you know, pay a little bit more and get this one. Maybe pay the same and get that one. I can't remember the price. Link down below or one of these two here. So I'm going to put a link down below. We can get all these cars from. And also a video where I compare all these other cars. So you can see exactly how they perform in the real world. So, Project 203 mile an hour RC car. So this is the car that I'm going to try and beat the world speed record with. And to beat the world record, we've got to get it to go 203 mile an hour. And guys, this thing is running twin motors. One direct drive to the front, one direct drive to the rear. We're also running this on 24S LiPos. If you want to know more about this, guys, I'm going to put a link up here to the playlist of the whole entire build so far. But so far at the moment, we're waiting on batteries. So SMC said that they're going to send me some batteries, but guys, I've been waiting for months and months and months, and nothing's come yet. Uh, and also, Power Hobby have said that they're going to supply me with some batteries. So I'm actually waiting for these batteries to come. They should be here in the next few days. And then we can mount the batteries, make sure it all fits, plug it in, get it running, and hopefully soon give it its first test run. And I've just had this Raz Schifrin Scorched Parts bat wing turn up. So that's going to replace this wing here. So Raz is actually, I think he's got the fastest armour in the world at the moment. And that's the wing that he's designed and that he uses on his car. And it makes them super stable. So hopefully this is going to work well on this too. So guys, hold fire. Videos about this car are going to be coming up very, very soon. And also, we've just ordered all the parts to build this monster truck. So hopefully in the next couple of months, guys, we're going to have this truck finished and we're going to be able to test it and... <laughs> guys, just subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss any of it. Man, we've got some exciting stuff coming up. I can't wait. But anyway, guys, for now, I will see you over one of these videos here.